So as we reach the twilight races of week seven, three hunter chases. The first one up is the two mile. The number one is Maslak Gacha for James Shea, Kinabara Windmill for Martin Leader, Mascari History for Ben Benici, Carlita Negra for Paul Rhodes, Pride Romano for Thomas Rogers, Fahana Landace for James Shea, and Manitoba for Stu Gray makes up seven. Here at Ulwick in Northumbria, the start has got him away. And there's two miles. And it's a Maslak Gacha for James Shea that leads us. And the follow up from his Lingfield handicap success in the last. We'll skip over the first of the 12 they have to take. It's Maslak Gacho, the top weight that leads us from Ascari history of Ben Benici. And we've got Carlita Negra for Paul Rhodes, Fahana Landace for James Shea, and Thomas Rogers, Pride Romano. And Martin Leedham's Kinvara Windmill. Just at the rear, bouncing around in Manitoba for myself. As we get over the second, and they all tell we've lost one. Carlita Negra's gone for Paul Rhodes, crashing fall there. Lucky for that gentleman. We're down to six to get to the third. We'll jump that one better. So it is a Maslak Gacho that leads us from the grey Oscari history. And a couple of links back to Fahana Landace in Pride Romano. Kinvara Windmill on Manitoba. So James Shea looking to pick up his seventh Hunter Chase win of the season. Gets to the fourth of water. We'll stream over that. Already in single file here. This Maslak Gacho has uh, gone off at a fair old lick. Scary history is trying to keep tabs on him. So we go over the fifth. Good jump spider. Oh, we've lost another. This time it's Pride Romano that's gone for Thomas Rogers. Unlucky. We'll be increasing his four wins so far in the Hunter Chases. And we're still being led by this Maslak Gacho who's taken a keen hold through the first mile. He leads by about five from Oscari History. Well, that was very slow over that. It's allowed Oscari History to get within three lengths. We've got Kimvara Windmill for Heine, for Heine Arlandace. We go over the seventh and just to the rear is Nanny Toba. But Maslak Gacho leads by a couple to Oscari History for Heine Arlandace. Kimvara Windmill and a couple back to the pushed along Nanny Toba. There's a four-year-old dropping down into this. Got no chance. It's Maslak Gacho being joined by Ascari History now. As they approach the next, it's the big open ditch. Oh, and we've lost Ascari History this time. Jockey couldn't stay on. And we're down to four. And it's Maslak Gacho and Farhana Lendace. The two James Shea horses lead us by about three lengths away. They both take the ninth well. Better jump by Farhan Lendace. So Fahan the Landace leads from Maslet Gacho on the inside. Then we've got the Grey Loose Horse, Kinavara Windmill trying to run on Manitoba, making up a little bit of ground now as we come inside the final half mile. But it's Maslet Gacho and Fahan the Landace. They both go over the tenth together. There's three from home, so there's two to jump. And it is the James Shea horses of Maslet Gacho and Fahan the Landace. Kinavara Windmill's trying to run them down. We've lost sight of Manitoba, he isn't going to win from there. So we've come down to the final quarter mile. Swing slightly left handed. It's Maslet Gacho from Fahan the Landace. Here comes Kinvara. A windmill is going to be between these three because they're the only three we can see. And it's Farhana Landace. They get over it together. Poor jump there by Farhana Landace. It's allowed Kimvara Windmill to take it up inside the furlong. So it's Kimvara Windmill from Farhana Landace. Maslak Gacho. They get to the last. Kimvara Windmill's over at best. And Kimvara Windmill's got a couple of lengths advantage. There's not much of a running here. He's going to take this well from Joe Shane. It's Maslak Gacho and Farhana Landace all the way back to the Skyry history. The loose talks in Manitoba. That's Colin to Negra, I think. So it's a win for Martin Leedham. Gets his uh, second Hunter Chase win of the season. Well done. And a massive gacho in second for James Shea along with Fahina Landace. And poor old Manitoba for Stu Gray. Popped in there to get the fourth place prize money.